Uh, Tommy, ending 2022 in style and off the back of two great weeks in Abu Dhabi, how do you feel about the week ahead of you? Yeah, nice getting back into the season, um, getting back into the rhythm and flow of tournament golf, really, um, and trying to trying to just keep building, um, build on what how I sort of finished the year last year. Well, you know, you're kind of starting again after a month off, and you always you're never quite sure how. No matter whether it's a month off, two months off, or just a couple of weeks, you know, after that Christmas break, you're never quite sure. Or you never feel like you're quite sure how you're going to play. Um, it's been some positives and there's been some things to work on, but overall just, you know, great being back into tournament golf. Unseasonably, it looks like tomorrow and Friday might be showing us a bit of bad weather, a bit of rain. How do you think the course is going to fare that and, and how, how will it play? be interesting to see um, what difference, like, some rain makes. Of course, in the wind, the course is going to play tougher at the moment. Um, you know, over the last three days since Monday, the course has been firming up, firming up, firming up, especially the greens. Um, rain would soften the greens up but also make the rough pretty horrible so um, we'll, you know we'll see um, got to be ready for any conditions and whatever the, the week throws at you but definitely the course is playing a, a, a really good test um, as it has done the last two or three years so it'll be interesting to see what the um, conditions and what difference that makes I want to talk to you a little bit about the eighth hole here arguably the most iconic yeah. in the Middle East can you recall your first impressions teen up there I, I think I'm probably of, um, of an age, even you know, I think this is, I don't know, 11th year maybe, I'm not sure, but I, I'm of an age where we, you know, I got to watch for a few years where it was an iconic tee shot, so as it was getting built into that iconic setting, I got to watch that on TV and then eventually finally get to play it, and I think, um, and, it, and it, you know, it still, it never ever goes away, you always look forward to standing on that tee and hitting that tee shot. I'd like to hit the fairway more. Um, but but overall, it's still a nice setting to stand up there and hit one. I was going to ask, do you have any tips for it? Because it's quite intimidating to the tee shot, and I know given what the wind's doing. Um, well, I mean, it's it's nice that it's a raised tee shot, so you, you're generally happy that you're going to get a ball flight. Um, it's you know, there's for us, you know, there's people like you know, I'm sure Rory, he can take a nice line way right, and for mere mortals and the rest of us I think there's a lot more room left than you than you than you think sometimes and even if you did miss it slightly left you're hitting up the green but um, you know overall it's, it's, it's actually a really good golf hole without the without the setting. Lastly this year we've got a, a new tournament sponsor how important is it to have people like Hero for the Dubai Desert Classic on board with us? Absolutely um, I, like I say I'm, I'm of an age where you know, something like the eight tee shot, but in particular this tournament was very iconic and you saw people like Monty, Ernie, Tiger, um, players that are winning this event, um, playing that 18th hole, the Majlis, and, it, and it's always been a dream event for a lot of us to come out and play and, and try and win. And I still would love my name on this trophy before my career ends. And um, without people supporting it and without sponsors that support it, we don't get that opportunity. So, um, you know, the sponsors play an enormous role, if not the biggest role in helping us, you know, chase our dreams out here. Best of luck this week, Tom. Thank you very much.